Tick-borne illnesses are very prevalent in New England and chances are at least one person you know has experienced a tick-borne illness. My name is Kyla Schultz and joining me today to talk about tick-borne illness prevention are two experts, Westford Health Department Director Jeffrey Stevens and Don Brooks with Countryside Veterinary Hospital. Before we talk about prevention, let's start by discussing how ticks can get to you. Ticks hide in leaves, brush, and shady wooded areas. They're alive and active year-round. Nymphs are the size of poppy seeds and are active May through August. Adult ticks are the size of sesame seeds and are active September through May and remain, act remain active if the ground is not frozen and there is no snow cover. Female ticks survive the winter and lay over 1,500 eggs in the spring. With all these ticks in the area, how can we prevent getting a tick-borne illness? Let's turn to Jeffrey Stevens. So Lyme and other tick-borne illnesses are a great public health concern. It's also identified by residents in our community health assessment as their top concern. Although cases continue to rise, it is important to note that illnesses are preventable. The simplest way to protect yourself is to remove a tick before it has a chance to transmit disease-causing pathogen. Ticks can attach anywhere in particular. They like to find spots on, like the back of your knee, around waistbands, under armpits, and are in any other constricted place. Anytime after you have been in, in a tick habitat, you should thoroughly check your body Remove detached ticks immediately. Once attached, ticks don't wash off. Additionally, watch for early signs and symptoms of tick-related illnesses and be sure to report to your doctor if you have a cause for concern. Untreated diseases can cause a number of health problems, but prevention methods have been proven to be effective. Thank you. Let's review those prevention methods. One, wear long pants and tuck in your shirt into your pants and tuck your pants into your socks. Two, wear light colors because it makes it easier to see the ticks on you. Three, wear closed toe shoes. Four, wear clothes pre-treated with permethrin and spray yourself with tick repellent. Five, take a shower after walking outdoors and check for ticks daily. Six, tumble dry your clothes for 20 minutes and the ticks will fall off and die. Seven, call a doctor if you have any symptoms or if the tick was attached for more than 24 hours. We've just covered protecting ourselves, now let's turn to Dr. Brooks to discuss protecting our pets. Lyme disease is very prevalent in dogs in New England and can be problematic to your best friend's well-being and can be costly to monitor and manage. While only 5 to 10 percent of dogs exposed to Borrelia organism develop clinical symptoms of Lyme disease such as stiff and painful joints, fever and lethargy, all dogs that are exposed are at risk for damage to their kidneys related to the body's immune system response to the infection. Your veterinarian will screen your pet for exposure on an annual basis using an inexpensive assay that detects antibodies to the Borrelia organism. If this screening test is positive, indicating your pet has been exposed and is reacting to that exposure, your veterinarian will recommend a test that will tell us how many antibodies are present. If this number is high, treatment will be recommended. Doxycycline is an antibiotic that is, has efficacy against the Borrelia organism and will help your dog's body fight off the infection, thus reducing the risk of kidney function problems. Many veterinarians will also suggest tests to monitor your dog's kidney function once exposure has happened to watch for related problems over time. Tick bite prevention is the best way to prevent your dog from getting Lyme disease and is a three-part process. Keep your lawn cut low and prevent your dog from roaming along the untrimmed edges of your property and avoid walking in wooded areas if possible. Check for ticks daily. Not all ticks become large and engorged and some stay attached for only 24 hours. Disease can be transmitted in this time and you can easily miss ticks on your pet if you're not checking regularly. Finally, use a tick preventative product that helps kill ticks quickly and can kill those that are hard to find before disease has a chance to transmit to your dog. If you walk in wooded areas regularly, then you may try an over-the-counter tick repellent product or clothing item that is advertised as being safe for pets. Keep in mind that even if you are using all of these methods, you still need to worry. Nothing is 100%. Thank you, Dr. Brooks. To keep my dog protected, I need to make sure he wears a tick collar or uses tick medication year-round, that I keep my dog out of brush, and that I check for ticks regularly. If I find a tick, I should use twig tick tweezers to remove it. Jeffrey Stevens, I know you have a tick tweezer on your key ring. Can you review how to use a tick tweezer? I sure can. With the tick tweezers, what you want to do is grab the head of the tick as close as you can to the skin. It's possible if that you can put the infected fluid into you if you squeeze too hard. So you pull slowly and gently straight up without twisting. Keep the tick in a plastic bag. Bring the tick to the doctor if you show symptoms. You can also test the tick through TickReport.com. 
the disease-carrying microbes of the tick may be carrying can be found there. We've covered a lot of information. Let's review the four main points. One, wear light protective clothing. Two, spray yourself and your yard for ticks and use tick preventatives on your pets. Three, remove ticks with a tweezer. And four, remember to do daily tick checks. If you take these preventative measure measures, it is less likely that you will get a tick-borne illness. Stay safe and remember, ticks may be small, but they carry many diseases. For more information, please go to www.westfordma.gov slash health page and link to the Tick and Mosquito-Borne Illness tab.